Yes, hello, hello. Welcome to the new short talk show based on the New York Times bestseller, Arguing with Idiots. Now, to start out with Gus, straight from Arkham Asylum, he has green hair and an illegal joy buzzer. His name is unknown, ladies and gentlemen, the Joker. <laughs> why, why are many thanks to you too, Batman? My parole wasn't actually up for another three weeks. <laughs> so, Joker, what are your views on arguing with idiots? <laughs> Well, Batman, you know as the villainous left-handed liberal that I am, I just hate it, like the plague. I'm going to burn it, and I want to burn it to the ground. I want to run over it with my ice cream van. And you know what else I want to do? I want to shoot it. I'm going to just shoot it with a machine gun. I'm just going to plant out oh, shoot. Oh, yes, but it doesn't stop there. I'm going to feed it to my ashes to the sharks, and then, you know, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> guards. I'm going to blow it up with a bomb, and then I'm going to drown in the ocean, and then... Sorry about that, folks. We had some, uh, minor technical difficulties. Next, he wears a purple mask. He's obsessed with riddles. He's got a nice haircut. It's the Riddler! Why, thank you, Batman. I'm just... It's just such an honor, it is. I am such a big fan of arguing with idiots myself. Yes, yes, it's nice to have you here, Riddler. Now it's story time with Bruce Wayne, the part of the show where we read a classic piece of literature... Oh, what do we have here? Ah, my very own copy of Arguing with Idiots. Oh dear, what a coincidence. Okay, okay. Once upon a time, the economy was bankrupt, the United States was being misled by a communist idiot, and politics were so corrupted we couldn't tell the difference between a fascist and a democrat. Hey, that sounds familiar. Oh, but it doesn't end there. The U.S. was in major debt, National government health care popularity was at a dangerous high, and Republicans were, quote, racist pigs. Such a sad time it is. But then, after two long years of much distrust and corruption, a majority of Americans came to their common senses, and the Republicans took over as majority party in the House of Representatives, kicking out Nancy Pelosi in the process. <laughs> It brings a teardrop to my eye every time I hear that story. <laughs> well, unfortunately, that's the bell to indicate that it's time to go. Aw, already? But stay tuned for the next Arguing with Idiots episode. Idiot. Are you